All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Duncan Ramon Echevarria, and I am coming live to you today um, at Doña Noli Cigars here in Statesville, North Carolina. So it's uh, going to be a, a recorded um, show today. And what I'm trying to do is work with uh, creating some content for YouTube, and hopefully it's going to be some fun stuff. I'm sure you guys are... Uh, you know, kind of like sick and tired of so many guys doing reviews, so many guys doing all manner of things that uh, concern the cigars and whatnot. And, and I'm not trying to uh, jump in on that bandwagon. Um, simply today, I want to do also a test. Um, we're going to be doing a video. So um, the cigar that I've chosen actually for this video, it is the PDR El Trovador. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hold that right up there for you guys. That is PDR El Trovador by Abe Flores. Um, it is an Ecuadorian red rosado wrapper, and it is actually uh, wrapping. Or it's, it's uh, what's inside of it is um, a Nicaraguan aged filler as well as a Nicaraguan binder, aged uh, binders. So a lot of times when we refer to terminology, terminology of aging, uh, thank God also that this is uh, one of the those experimental things, right? Um, a lot of times we want to hear the age of the, the tobacco. Um, most of the time we look at three years minimum as aging in tobacco. Um, and then possibly anywhere between a few months to six months once the cigar has been finished. So again, that may not always be the exact criteria for every cigar company or every cigar brand. But generally speaking, those are two different things. You're looking at the age of the tobacco and the age of the cigar. So they'll all have, um, actually they both have different, um, I guess, um, I want to say uh, uh, ways to approach flavors and the melding of those flavors inside that cigar. When you're looking at the age of the tobacco, you're really looking at, you know, the age of the components of that blend, whether it's the, uh, how long the, the filler has been aged for, could be two to three years, how long has the binder been aged for, three to five, is the wrapper also within the three to five year aging, is it longer, so all of these things have actually added flavor profiles and different nuances to that tobacco that is used for the blend, but when you create the cigar itself, when you actually create it, when you have it done, now those tobaccos need to melt, come together, and you know express a brand new flavor fro uh, flavor profile. I keep saying, thank God that um, this is the the first experimental one, right? Lord have mercy. So, um, without further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this guy right here. I uh, remember this is not necessarily a review. I'm uh, just kind of like uh, gonna use this as a platform to um, do three sections of this one video work on editing them and putting them together and then I'm gonna actually upload it to YouTube so um, I appreciate anybody who right now is uh, kind of being patient with me as you're seeing this and, and again thank you very much we're gonna be doing better videos uh, more fun interactive ones they may be some reviews they may be some uh, fun things concerning you know uh, what's what goes good with a cigar you know everything from uh, my mom's perfect cup of Cuban coffee to uh, my next door neighbor's um, beers. So currently we're about to uh, cut this, we're about to light it, and we're about to begin the processes right now. So, uh, and this is a working shop, so we just had a good friend walk in, his name is Shabam Gupta, so he's gonna um, let me uh, get started with this one. I'm gonna also end this first section, go back to it uh, in a little bit and tell you what I'm getting out of this cigar. Again, it's not a review, so don't hold me too strictly to this. Uh, again, working cigar shop, that was mom in the background, you know, so um, let me take a nice uh, cut here. I'm going to do what they call uh, the pre-light uh, draw, right? Uh, a lot of that tells you is uh, the initial flavor profiles without any heat added to them, and also is there good enough um, airflow. You know, we want always a good construction, good airflow. Mm. I'll tell you what. It's, it's very floral um, and not like flowery flowery I'm saying uh, you know it there's some earthiness to it there's almost a little bit of that grassiness a little bit of that hay a little bit I guess of that uh, that natural floral combination of all of that that's what I say when I when I feel or taste floral there's a little bit of that bitter sweetness that you can find in a, in a strong espresso 
it, it's uh, interpreted like if it was a cold espresso. Look, I just look, did like a little, you know, a little shot of cold Cuban coffee. That bitter sweetness that's there. So let's get this guy lit, and I'm gonna take the first few puffs. I'm gonna get it going, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys in a little bit uh, once I've gone about, you know, through that first third, uh, and we'll see what happens, right? Let me see here. We are gonna toast the foot, you know, because is there really a, a right or wrong way um, about getting the cigar going? Yeah, I, I want to say there is, uh, and that is your way. It's however you do it. Uh, we are going to address this in um, these series of videos that are going to be coming up one by one. You know, um, I'm a great believer that, you know, for example, if my friend uh, Shabam lights a cigar, you know, like this, well, then that's right. If my mom lights a cigar, you know, who cares, right? But it's it's right for them. They are enjoying that moment. But I will address that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to you guys. So we've toasted it, I'm getting a little bit, you know, a little heat, a little preamble, a little readiness to that foot. Mm. Nice and tasty. <laughs> you swear I'm not a professional, right? <laughs> so it's nice. Mm. Great voluminous smoke. It sits comfortably. Again, it's a real working shop. My mom lives and dies on Facebook. I'm trying to be as as quiet and focused. But you remember, we said at the beginning, this is an experiment. This is the first one. We're gonna have some fun with this. Um, you know, I'm sure we're gonna knock it down. Perfect. Uh, maybe by the end of this week. Who knows? Maybe by next week. But again, thank you for your patience. Um, outside noises are going to happen. We are a working cigar shop. So I'm going to let you guys go for right now. I'm going to come back and I'm going to continue the second part in a little bit. Once I've gone into uh, the first third, we're going to discuss, uh, they say um, heavy coffee, big leather. We'll see what happens, right? We're going to get this. I'm not a reviewer. I'm not that. We're just having some fun today with the El Trovador by PDR Cigars. El Trovador means the troubadour, you know, musician, the traveling musician. So we'll see how much uh, this musical uh, piece tells me. See you guys in just a few seconds.